Hey everybody, how is it going today? Roland Zimmerle here from Alpen Natures. Today we're demonstrating how to make hunter steaks out of beef. We got uh, beef top round, some bacon as well, and uh, we'll use that a little bit later. All right, this is the also called inside round out of a beef and we're gonna make some cool steaks for a barbecue I'm planning. First, you look at this side, there's a, a little muscle right here, which you wanna separate. This is like the quality of top sirloins. And we're gonna go straight down, right where it divides, just like that. Put that aside. Now we don't want to trim the meat too much because I want to leave the uh, kind of fat on there but a couple of dry spots here I want to get rid of. Now on this side there's a little bit more fat. I want to trim that just a little bit. Then we're going to cut in half long ways. So with the muscle like this, normally you, you cut a, against the muscle, we're cutting across, okay? Now I'm going to demonstrate you a rolling cut, all right? And this is how it goes. We're gonna actually roll it out, like, just like this. We're gonna make a rolling cut here, and that means roll cut. So what that means is you're gonna open it up like this, just like that. And now, you've got kind of a flat, piece of meat. We're going to do the same right here. Watch your fingers. And we go right down that way. This way. So when I say roll cut, that what I'm doing, I'm rolling the rest of the meat along on the table. And it just opens up just like that. It's almost like butterfly cut, but a little bit more because it's not that little of a piece of meat. So once we have it open, all we're gonna do is we're seasoning it. And I love to use Worcestershire sauce. Put a little bit on top, not too much. Just like that. Now you rub it all over so every piece has a little bit on here. Like I said, not too much, otherwise you have it too soggy. What you do, you're, you're seasoning it. Whatever seasoning you like to uh, to use, okay? I I use this uh, prosciutto, which is uh, just a, a mix of different seasonings. Like that. Lemon pepper is also one of my favorites on, uh, on this uh, recipe right here, just a little bit. This is uh, a special pepper mix I got this actually from an employee of Hidden Valley French salad dressing. Then, you're gonna take the bacon in there like, not too tight. Um, you don't want too much, too much bacon. So it's just like a little spaced up, like it's like a half an inch apart or something like that. Then uh, once you have these laid in here, you start rolling it up. It's gonna be really tight. It's just the way you actually cut it pretty much. You just tie it up. Once you have it tied up, there will be too much fat down here, so you can see that. You take actually a butcher string, and you make a couple ties. So you're gonna do three of them, then you never have to worry about that it's gonna open up while we put the bacon around it. Now we can uh, start with the bacon. We're gonna just lay the bacon, kind of pull it so it's all the way to the ends. You'll have to be careful because the bacon actually can roll off. Somebody likes bacon with beef, that's what this is all about. I love it. I hope the guests love it too. And now we're not rolling it no more. This is it. 
you just have to be really careful and kind of make sure it hangs on right there. Now what we're doing, we're going to take the string again and we are going to be really careful in putting that underneath. You've got to really pull it really tight to the table and then tie it. Not too, I mean it has to be tight but not over tight because when you cut the stakes, otherwise they're going to bend and they're going to open up. And we actually do every second, so we're going to do one more in the middle. So we're going to go in stages from the inside out that keeps it nice and equal. You could also use this as a roast. If you don't want to barbecue steaks, you can actually use the whole roast and barbecue the whole roast. It just takes a whole lot longer to do it. So this is uh, perfect now. Uh, barbecuing like a uh, normal beef steak, you know, you've got to make sure the bacon is uh, totally cooked, that uh, the steak is going to be still tender because I am actually aging it for six days. But this is it. Now we have it all tied up. Isn't that looking great? This is just mouth-watering. I love it when the bacon, because it gives the juice and it gives the tenderness to it uh, once we barbecue. So let's cut the steaks. Let's go for it. Get the big knife out. So here we go. We're gonna, I don't want to waste any of this end. That's fine. But we're gonna do one cut right here. Now watch. It's, it don't have to be thick. Look at this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Man, I think I'm going to get one before Saturday. <laughs> and this is the last steak. The very last steak is going to be a little bit uh, more trying to fall apart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to a horizontal tie just just like this and then that's what, what should hold it together now it's nice and tight even the last steak here now we're ready to marinate them let me get a dish and we are doing a marinade on them and let them sit for six days before we use them now we're gonna have some dishes here and we're gonna put some uh, Worcestershire sauce just sprinkled all over the dishes and then we use the same kind of seasoning a little bit lemon pepper not too much you want because there's already some in there so we got to be careful a little bit of this prosciutto just like that and then a little the special pepper mix I got There we go. Now we just lay him in there. Let's get the big boy here. First, second. Look how beautiful they look. My goodness. And here, another one. And we'll just season one more time on top. We are going to marinate and leave in the marinade for six days and the reason of that is it has to age a little bit longer. I know in Costco where I bought they already had it aged for a while but uh, beef can be aged for like up to four, five weeks uh, in, the, in the right temperatures and uh, we got the right temperature right here and it just continued that aging process uh, and make it really really super tender. And also on top here, we're going to use a little bit of Worcestershire one more time. And now you can take your hands and actually smear it over a little bit so it's so soaking into the meat, okay? Then we're going to take the last layer on here. Now we're going to do Worcestershire sauce one more time on the last layer here. Not much. Okay, pepper seasoning. That's what I would use. This is a special mix, like I told you already, but you can use pepper seasoning. And I use a little bit of pepper, a lemon pepper here. Now we're gonna smear it all over. And then 
Make sure you're gonna use plastic wrap to put it on because you do not, you wanna have it kind of airtight. So use plastic wrap. And it's just gonna cover it right up. Tie it up, cover it up, and so the air kinda stays away. Now, after three days, I'm gonna come in here and take this dish out, and I am gonna turn the meat. What that means, I'm just gonna take the meat out and arrange it differently. So it's gonna be mixed again in the marinade a little bit better. So that's perfect. And this is it. This is what I wanted to show you. And these are called Hunter's Steaks. Don't forget about that roll and cut. That's any kind of butterfly, a bigger piece of uh, meat, uh, because a smaller piece you can just cut it in half and open up. That's why it's called butterfly. But this one you have to roll it open. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials on gaming processing, tips and tricks. And remember, when you go out there in the nature and get that natural meat, process it the right way and the professional way with my help. Thank you.